Poffo, great athlete, exciting in the ring, looks good, although slimmer than Randy. I don't know about that. Uh, never found an interesting gimmick. Poet Laureate, the genius, bad. Add in that Lanny always played an effeminate role and tried to appeal to the homophobes. Cost him a ton of money. Your thoughts? Can you think of anyone else that was ruined because they could never find a gimmick? Um, well, and I hate to say, and uh, by the way, hello, Lanny, if you're listening. And, and Lanny actually not only uh, is, is a nice guy, but introduced me as the one who introduced me to the incredibly beautiful daughter of Pampiro Furpo. And she's a regular listener of, of the programs. So oh. I, I, so I don't want but I agree. I, you know what? The genius and the poet laureate, everything that was great for the WWF of what, whatever, what 1986 through 1989 or whatever. Cause everybody else was a fucking chicken and a rooster and a superhero and a, I, you know, fucking crocodile hunter and whatever the fuck also. But he was seen by so many people. It was kind of like the Red Rooster to me, although not as bad. And in that, I think he—that's how Lanny's going to be identified for the rest of his career. He—he he was an athletic guy, and he did do some pioneering shit in terms of stuff he did in the ring. But at the same time, he had full-grown man size, um, and I don't—he wasn't that much thinner than Randy. He was bigger uh, than Randy. I—I th- I mean, look when Randy got pumped up it's another no, well, thing but well, in general yeah. when you look at any picture of them in icw or you know after wrestling he's always bigger than randy well that that's what i'm saying he, randy had a little more definition but lanny especially in chest spread had little size on him so that's you know but it, it just difference in the way that they they looked carried it but point being yeah you know yeah, I I just eh, you know I I think he could have been more serious. I I I saw him as a babyface also in ICW when he was working with Randy as a heel. You know, and they were they first started their world title thing the first year of ICW, and they had some great fucking matches. But I liked Lanny's work as a heel in Memphis when they finally settled the promotional war and came in there. And you know, I just I wish he'd have been had a chance on. <clears throat> more mainstream television to show being more serious and not quite as, you know, as gimmicky. Well, you know, I actually think, you know, the poet laureate thing as the undercard baby face. I think that hurt him as the genius. Cause I think if he had come in and just been the genius right from the start, he would have actually really gotten over as a heel that people hated. People would have hated him and yeah. he could still do good stuff in the ring. And I think that's what it was. He was just, he was that undercard baby face throwing Frisbees to the crowd, <laughs> reading a poem. And then finally, when they took that skill and applied it to this arrogant, effeminate genius, everyone wanted to see him get his ass kicked. And his run as the genius was actually well, and, and But the short. thing is, by then, they also knew that everybody could kick his ass. Right. <laughs> yes. Right. 